Welcome to part 10 of modular environment design in Blender for game engines. If you haven't seen the previous parts, go back to part 1 and start from scratch, you're gonna learn a lot. This course is easy to follow and even though I'm using hardops and box cutter, you should be fine in vanilla Blender if you know the basic tools. Now if you don't know the basic tools, I would highly recommend our free course for beginners called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It will get you up to speed in a matter of days, saving you a lot of time and frustration. The link is in the video description like I said the course is free. Now if you get stuck during any of these courses feel free to join our discord channel with almost 4,000 people over there and a help section so you should never get stuck again. Link is down below, enjoy! This one's gonna be probably the last one uh, we're gonna be recording. I'm gonna be optimizing these modular pieces. I've hidden all the you know all the collections here so we don't have to worry about that and uh, I just left the modular pieces. Yeah, this one is empty, so let's just remove it. Delete character, there we go. Right, uh, modular pieces, let's put them on the top because they're gonna be important. Right, now I optimized a few of them to save time, but I'll show you how to do that because it's so simple that you know you don't need, don't need me to show you every single piece. So first of all, what we need to do is um, assign origin point to the items. So we're going to select all these pieces, okay, and you're going to press Shift S with Machine Tools and to Geometry, which will move origin points to respective elements. These ones we're going to do separately. Um, let's just uncheck this empty. Shift S to Geometry. Now be careful with this one because this one is a mirror going on. So what I would suggest doing first is applying the mirror and then Shift S to Geometry, okay. Then you can select the, the rest of them and uh, do the same thing okay just don't select the empties and so that's the first thing you need to do second thing you need to do is um, optimize the elements here on the scene so first of all what i would suggest doing is removing weighted normals okay the hard normals work better for game engines most of the time sometimes weighted normal works better but it's really really rare so most of the time you should be fine with uh, hard normals. So if you go to Control tilde and you go to this panel here with hard ups and you click that hard normals option here, whenever you add a bevel, it's gonna come with hard normals automatically, okay? So for instance, if I remove all the modifiers from here, so you see there's a bevel and where the normals, bevel and where the normals, right? Bevel and where the normals. I'll just remove all the modifiers from these pieces. Okay, the bottom ones as well. So remove that and remove this and remove. Oh wait, this is solidify. These two we need to apply. So operations, smart apply. Um, yeah, these two operations, smart apply, and this one, smart apply, right? cool uh, but the rest is gone okay so we don't have any modifiers running on them and then select all these pieces okay all of them at the same time right and then when you add bevel you're gonna get bevel of the same thickness to all of them so bevel scroll down to one segment and then when you see when you add bevel all of them beveling at the same time so make it make sure the bevel is supple it's gonna help with um, readability in a game engine and also make sure that you know uh, when you go to profile sorry shading the hard normals is on zebra automatically now um, in terms of optimization you will see that i removed some faces here um, and um, you know the faces same here in the bottom you see you need to do the same thing for all these pieces okay so um, select them all um, like this right these and we're gonna be removing some faces okay first of all select all and remove the mark sharp and we're gonna be removing some faces so we don't need we don't need oh we need this one we don't need these we don't need these we don't need these and we don't need these faces right and we don't need uh the bottom ones okay so bottom ones here bottom one and bottom one okay and then delete faces boom so 
you're removing all the faces and they're gonna be visible basically and uh, they are gonna be pressed against these walls anyway so this is a wall piece uh, so let's remove this and uh, let's add the bevel scroll down boom and we can remove the back piece here we don't need that okay so on floors I'm gonna be leaving these and I'm not gonna be adding bevels to floors because we have trim sheets running on them so there's no need here remove the bottom part and here what you need to do is remove these faces here okay leave these because remember there's a window we can see through so don't remove these okay make sure all the sharp edges are removed okay so if you see any sharp edges like this okay make sure you're gonna remove them so select everything and mark okay select everything and mark right so just look uh, for sharp edges and remove them all okay that's important right let me see that there's some sharp edge in here as well so let's remove this okay boom also I remove these faces here you see that these faces around here because we don't need them as well so remove these two uh, these two faces on top we don't need them because it goes to the ceiling same with this one you know this face here so operations multiply and remove this face you don't need it you need only the bottom one okay and always check if you have you know hard normals on all these elements okay because it's important here uh, same thing uh, we don't really need these faces so we can you know select all these um, all down to here so you can actually press w and you know select all of all of these faces here with shift and if you crouch here, you just hold control. So all these faces are not needed for texturing. There's gonna take space on it on the UV uh, UV grid, you know, and it's just pointless, yeah. So remove faces, and you know that's all you need, guys. Okay, this bit, right? You don't even need this one on the bottom here. Because quite frankly, this one is under the floor, but you know, I'm gonna leave it. But you could remove it if you wanted to, right? Walls, leave the, leave the faces. Um, this one on the top, we could remove it, but there's a chance that the light's gonna come through the top and might screw up with the bacon here. So I would actually leave this uh, alone. I wouldn't touch it, um, you know, should be fine. So I would leave it as is no problem now what we can do is remove these unnecessary edges okay so you know we could uh, dissolve edges here dissolve this one dissolve uh come on why is it not selecting all these edges are not necessary dissolve edges there you go this edge is not necessary and neither is this one so dissolve dissolve and dissolve now you see the reason why we created bevels with uh, even segments even number of segments because now i can select every single uh, every second edge here in the middle and if i dissolve it it's gonna reduce the resolution of the bevels if you wanted to do that you can do that anytime you want this is why each bevel um, is you know like you see here has an even number of segments so if you want to reduce the resolution of this you can um, this is optimized perfect. Let's check the bevel here. So let's just remove this garbage and let's Add a bevel with hard normals make it really supple, but don't overdo it because remember If you overdo the bevel you're gonna have problems, right? So, you know, don't overdo it guys Check the bevel here same story. Let's bring it to local and bevel and you know one segment and don't make it too small and then you can select them both Select this one, remove the bevels, shift select this one, control C and copy modifiers. For this to work, you need to have this add-on enabled, which is called copy attributes menu, okay? This one, right? It's a bevel add-on. So, I mean, blender add-on, sorry. Uh, here, same thing, remove this junk and, uh, well, we need to keep the mirror. Uh, add modifier and operations, let's multiply and I'm not sure I want the bevel to be applied, to be honest. I might remove that. 
because it doesn't give me a control over what's happening. So GY, move it out, and then one segmented bevel, I think I'm gonna do it like that. It's the same thing. It's gonna be a little bit less taxing on the card, basically. Right, so then we can apply the mirror and remove the weighted normals because we don't need it. Uh, let's remove this bevel here and the bevel here. Select them both and you know, let's bevel this. Make it supple. There we go. And you see that, um, you see in this, this window here with hard normals, that doesn't really work very well. Look at this shading problem. But look at this one, I'm going to remove that and I'm going to apply um, weighted normals, it's fixed. So like I said, sometimes it works better when you have weighted normals. You never know which one is better, but usually harder normals work better. Okay, so this is perfect. Same in here, I'm guessing this is going to be better with weighted normals, windows. Cool, alright, awesome. And now we need the big windows, right? So we need to bring the big windows into the picture. Also, this one here doesn't need... Let me just apply this. Smart apply. And we don't need... We don't need this bit here at all. And this one doesn't really need a bevel, so I wouldn't worry about that. Cool, that's that. Uh, let's save this, right? And now we need the windows, front panels, front windows, there we go. Oh, they're hidden, okay. So, let me move these uh, to uh, the uh, modular pieces and turn them on, there you go. Cool, so these windows, wait and almost, we need bevels on them, so bevel and one segment, you know, let's, let's not overdo it. Perfect, now the seals. Grab the seals again. You don't need this part, and you don't need this part. So, remove faces, and uh, we don't need weighted normals here. What we need is a bevel. So, bevel one segment, boom, right? Smashing. Select the windows and shift S and two geometry. Select these and shift S to geometry. Um, grab all these because we need we need the same bevel as in the wolves basically. They are more or less the same bevel, right? So uh, we need to apply the boolean and remove the bevel. Here too, we need to apply the boolean and we need to remove these bevels. Uh, there is no boolean here, but we can apply it and remove this. And then basically, what we're gonna do? Alt H. And we're going to select these three pieces, one of the walls, control C and copy modifiers. And this should uh, copy the um, the bevel over, but it didn't for some reason. The wall doesn't have a bevel, or the wall doesn't have a bevel. Fascinating. Um, the walls have no bevel, okay. I forgot to add bevels to the walls. Uh, let me just do that again. Oh, this wall has a bevel. Interesting. So let's select these walls, this one and control C and copy modifiers. Yep, that worked all right. Select these three, select this, copy modifiers. Okay, so this would be optimized um, environment with all the bevels and weighted normals and harder normals and everything. Pipes do not need any bevels, so you don't have to worry about that. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.